Tomorrow, Notre Dame will take on Northeastern in the second round of the NCAA tournament in Pittsburgh. And you can catch that game right here on WSBT 22 at noon. Sports director Pete Byrne and Carl Deffenball are there and caught up with some of the Irish ahead of the matchup. Welcome to the NCAA tournament in Pittsburgh, where a little more than 12 hours from now, Notre Dame will be getting ready to open up their tournament run right here on this court behind us against Northeastern. And the Irish, Carl, come into this tournament with more momentum than probably they've ever had in recent program history, and for obvious reasons. Yeah, for the first time in Mike Bray's 15 years leading the program, they enter the NCAA tournament on a winning streak after they won the program's first ever conference championship, the ACC. Of course, funny thing about that, you win the ACC tournament, and all of a sudden, everyone's expectations for you rise but that's okay because Notre Dame has pretty high expectations for itself as well yeah that was definitely a, a huge confidence boost that's what we wanted to do and we uh, I think that gave us huge momentum going forward but um, at the same time um, that's kind of behind us and we're chasing a new thing as happy as you are um, with getting here it's not about just getting here you know we, we've done some things that this uh, you know um, program has not done and that was our goal to set out we wanted to do things that this program has not done uh, I don't think this is any different obviously it's a, a bigger stage obviously it's a bigger tournament but you know you still got to take it one game at a time one possession at a time and you still have to leave everything that you have I'll on the floor. Notre Dame, the three seed, will be heavily favored when they take the floor tomorrow afternoon against Northeastern. But as we all know, Carl, in the NCAA tournament, crazy things tend to happen. Northeastern has a really mature team which won a conference title of its own, and their big man, Scott Etherton, is their leading scorer. He also opens up everything else around him. That's certainly right, and a lot of Notre Dame's attention this week has been focused on defending. They get going from behind the arc, it's, it's going to be hard to deal with. So it's a little bit of like almost the Duke game plan. You're going to be at, you're going to be kind of on your own, big guys, guarding a good big guy down low with footwork. But we can't help too much. Of all the players who will take the court here tomorrow, no one has received more attention this week here in Pittsburgh than Jaron Grant, Notre Dame's All-American. And the accolades will keep rolling in for him, of course, one of the best players in program history. But his legacy will be cemented by what the Irish do here in late March as opposed to the regular season. I'm not ready to go home yet. You know, I definitely want to finish uh, doing something special here. You know, I felt like we had a great regular season, you know, ACC chance. But, you know, uh, it would definitely be, be even more special to cut some nets down in Indianapolis. And, of course, if you want to be remembered, that's something no one would ever forget. No doubt about it. It all gets started right here tomorrow at noon when the Irish take on Northeastern, a game you can see live only on WSBT. Reporting from the NCAA Tournament in Pittsburgh for Carl Deffenbaugh, I'm Pete Byrne, WSBT 22 Sports.